Hello friends, welcome to Pipe Studio. This is Bubal and today we are going to discuss how to deal with your car dealer while you are purchasing the new car. The content discussed here are only subject to my personal experience. It may not be the same case for all the car dealers in the USA. By considering the privacy policy, I am not disclosing the dealer information. So congratulations for your new cars. I believe you're gonna get a car as soon as possible when you purchase the car you probably went to the different official website and you would have desired this is a car you just want to purchase with your budget from my perspective i believe the kia rio is a uh, better car for me initially i went for a term lx which starts from uh, sixteen thousand four hundred and fifty dollars so i'm quite impressed with this amount then i went to the nearby dealers they also have in the website if i visited their website they says that the same uh, 2022 rio lx model starts from nineteen thousand dollar i'm really get surprised how they added a three thousand dollar on the top so was it the final amount no definitely no they never disclose their prices through the phone and do not trust their website for the final for price no that's not a, not a final price and they always makes you visit their dealership showroom to make a deal and what is the final price then so the moment you step into their showrooms they always trying to add five thousand dollar on top of the msrp price that's shown in the dealer's website if you look at the official websites they already have uh, if, if it's let's say it's a, a 16,450 if you look at the dealer website it would have comes around like 19 19,000 and then on top they try to add this five thousand so these are the keywords they usually use and they say that there is a destination fees on the top of the msrp price which means they wanted to move the car from one place to another place and like destination right so that's why they added this thousand dollar again this price is negotiable and they said that for market adjustment for this uh, subject they're going to talk a lot about the shortage of the uh, new vehicle in the market they said that um, the your vehicle will not be ready for another two months and uh, there's a chip shortage there would be this uh, big things is coming up for you so you won't get a car this much of cheaper price the car demand is so high they will talk all the different scenarios and then they'll justify this two thousand or three thousand dollar that they're gonna add as part of the market adjustment if you talk them a lot probably they will have reduced the thousand dollar out of it and maybe who knows they they gonna completely remove the market adjustment as well and they're gonna talk about the family guarantee program like each dealer has come up with the no name like if you go for a nissan they will say the nissan family guarantee program and if you go to the kia they will have a kia family guarantee program kind of thing so anyway they always put the five years plan initially that will starts from a, thousand dollar to four thousand dollar based on the different dealers and uh, you can negotiate and bring that uh, down to three years that's a minimum they allowed you to take it off uh, that starts from thousand dollar to thousand five hundred dollar nearby and finally they will add a something called as connected and productor like yellow gps uh, this is really nonsense we don't need yellow gps because kia itself had the gps facility in their app that literally tell us where the car vehicle is and uh, all the all these features are available within a kia access itself but um, they they never uh, allow you to opt this feature out they want the money so they put it in somewhere like uh, we are selling this and that kind of things okay and this is third party application so if you added all this app it comes around five thousand dollar on top of them so the, all the amounts are subject to uh, negotiable you can negotiate you can talk more with the um, with your manager uh, to reduce bring this amount down as much as possible this is a price i discussed for the uh, kio rio lx model uh, that's 16,000 uh, 16,450 is became as 24,500 when I discussed for LX uh, model uh, but next uh, when I go to the finance department they said that uh, my annual interest is uh, 5 percentage I said no that day and then next day I didn't go to the Kia dealership and the next to next day the agent called me and I said that uh, LX doesn't have all the feature what I'm looking for like I'm looking for the technology feature that LX doesn't have that has only the basic model 
So for uh, price of 24,500 dollar, I would have go for a Nissan that gives all this feature uh, and everything. And then he said that, okay, let's have a deal. Uh, we'll give you the Rio ES terms with the technology package uh, for the same price, whatever we quoted yesterday, like the 24,500. I'm really get surprised because if you look at it, the price difference from the Kia, and there is a technology package which you added $1,800 which comes around 2300 dollars that has been added on uh, LX. Think about it. They literally added $2,000 uh, without providing anything. Then we went to the finance department. Now we said that my rate of interest comes down to 4%. And we said something, agreed and uh, signed that deal. Okay? After that, my wife has looked at the document and sees that uh, there, is, there was a $4,000 has been added from the finance department. When I asked them, they said that, uh, yeah, your uh, yesterday 5% interest has come down to 4% because we were added some uh, insurance on top of the insurance that's cost you around $4,000. Come on, <laughs> one person is not even gives me the $800, but uh, he added a 4,000 package to to save my eight hundred dollars, which doesn't make any sense to me. Then I said, remove all the insurance uh, and just give me the APR, like uh, annual interest of uh, the specific price. And then he said that um, uh, it went to five per five point two per percentage. I'm still okay with that five point two five percentage because I can refinance the things and bring that amount down. That's why I'm telling you, like keep eye on your numbers all the times, even in the finance department and look out for your APR 